What's going on YouTube? This is Mason AJ. This is Lance Excalibur. The goat. Why are we doing funny things? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just did it. Anyway, today we are talking about the age of Ultron Avengers 2. The trailers have been released. And also, most importantly to me personally, the new costume t show is out and that shit's hotness right now. It's super fresh hotness. Wait, AJ, like, let's go to this um the, the Avengers trailer. Genius. I, I gotta say, it's gen genius. It's genius right now. I'm sorry. Like, you know what? Ultron, sa Ultron sold it for me because I was wondering, how are they going to do Ultron? And then I heard him speak. And I was like, yep. Well, I'm, yep, I'm not messing with him. James Spader is a terrific actor. I've, I've been a fan of his for a long time. I just started watching The Black Blacklist. He scared the crap out of yeah, me. Yeah, that's the thing, though. He's one of those dudes who, like, I feel like he's super chill to hang out with. But then he might just murder you and then talk to you gently as he does it. He like, talked to you like, gently. Uh, like yeah. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to be friends with him, but he'll kill you. It puts That's... the lotion on its skin. That was, uh, that was Buffalo Bill. Yeah, Buffalo Bill. Uh, that was... no. No. Same movie though. Same movie. Close, close. Follow uh... Bean. <laughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> I haven't seen everything. I haven't seen what both trails have to offer. I feel like it's going to be more of what we loved about if Avengers 1. I'm a little bit worried because they've all oh, they've introduced they're introducing so many elements. Um, you know, the Hulk, you know, he's rampaging doing his thing. Maybe there's something off of him, maybe he's being mind controlled or I, something. I, no, I noticed that uh, I've noticed in the trailer because I haven't I have dissected these things. I noticed in the trailer a couple of posters, a couple of screenshots. Bruce Banner mm -hmm. looks ill. And the Hulk, he's not like the full green, like there's something. Yeah, cool. you know, when, you, when you, you pointed this out and I looked and I was like, yeah, it looks like something's going on sick. with him. A little I think, yellowish. I think something's, yeah, I think something's wrong with him that's making him a little uh, antsy. Not so. Yeah. And it would make sense because how else would Ultron defeat the Hulk unless he like infected, like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you can't you can't beat him in all out brawl. The Hulk is going to just keep getting pissed off. Ultron and, comes out like, boom! Infected Nanobots, bitch! Well, <laughs> that would make sense. Okay, according to other posters that I see for it, Ultron is, it's not just one Ultron. He's coming with an army of, kind yeah, of like uh, Stark right. did right. in the other movie. Yeah. I think everything starts with Stark's armor and his AI and everything, because they talked about Vision and they cast mm -hmm. Vision. The voice of Vision is Paul Bettany, mm -hmm. who does he does the voice of Jarvis. So there's a whole bunch of ways to well, okay. look at it. How, is, is it going to be based off the comic book? The way the comic did, where they all trying to pretty much take over the world? Well, and no, 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 no. Yeah. It's Age of Ultron in name only, thankfully. Because you stuff. did see a lot of the Ultrons in the second trailer that was coming out of water. Yeah, they were coming you out of water and all that. Made me think of the comic book. The moment I saw that, I was like, you know what? You know, that's how Ultron usually does his thing. But he's not serious. I don't, you know what? Age of Ultron, as bad as that comic book was, it made me look at Ultron like, okay, this dude is kind of for real. Like, I felt like he was serious. Okay, and Ultron is the villain of the event. Mm -hmm. He is their... He's their Joker, he's their Lex Luthor, he's their, the Avengers as a team, that is Ultron's, mm -hmm. that's Ultron. Um, so, he's always a serious thing. It's a matter of how, because it's not exactly from the comic book, how they're introducing him to the cinematic world. Okay. And more importantly, because now we're seeing it more and more, mm -hmm. what he has to do, if anything, with the larger movie coming out, Two movies actually. I guess was it 2016 and 2017? Is it is it coming out back to back? Because I thought it was in the they're, same year. No, no, they're a year okay. apart. They're a year apart. It was okay. May 2016, May 2017. Okay. Oh, May, May 2017. Um, if you saw the trailers for these, the Infinity Gem, the Infinity Wars trailers, Avengers right. Infinity War, where they show Thanos with the glove. Right. And then they listed all the movies that are coming out between now and then. This isn't, and there, it says Avengers Infinity right. War, but it's not, it's the Avengers, it is Black Panther, it is right. Captain Marvel, right. it is the Gal Guardians of the Galaxy on screen together mm -hmm. for two movies. Okay, so here, here's two what... <laughs> So, okay. They're, they're, okay. Oh no, okay. they're doing something. You know what? I'm and, gonna... uh, and you know what's another one? The next Captain America movie. Did you see that one? Yeah, the, right. The Captain America 3 with the Civil War? Civil War. So I don't. You know what? That's what I'm very excited for. I'm be honest with you, out of all of them, the Civil War is, I want to see how they're going. We'll see. Because that is going to be huge if they do it right, you know? But like, here's the thing. But how can, can they, they do it right? Exactly. exactly. Can they do it right? It's like. Uh, because I'm you not know what? what everyone's we, excited. Keep, we keep questioning it. But this isn't this isn't DC where they're making it up as they go. Right. This is something <laughs> planned. Right. 
that's been sitting down and they have it all mapped out. We, we as fans, we, we can sit here and we can speculate and dissect trailers all we want. We need to just sit down and enjoy the ride. Do you like, think that they were I'm making gonna... it up as they went with, with the with Civil War? No. no. Okay, I, no. I didn't think, okay. No, I, and you know what else? Just like Age of Ultron, I think they're using Civil War, but that might be in name only. Yeah. It may not do the exact... Well, I mean, in a comic book, do you think they did that? What, no, 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 okay, no. Okay, it's okay. pre-planned. Everything, everything is pre-planned. Okay. So, um, even the DC comics, I feel like they're making it up as they go sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, that's, that's why I ask that, because sometimes I feel like they do. The Civil War felt real. Oh, no, no, it, it was planned, because it, it referenced stuff back to House mm -hmm. of M. Everything, House of M, whether you like it or not, right. and on, is pre-planned. Every event is pre-planned and intercut. It's so, perfect. I, I gotta be this guy. With the Age of Ultron movie coming out, I kind of feel like maybe they're doing like a little bit too much, but they can't put full focus on this because you got Tony Stark and his problems, you got Captain America and his problems, you got the Ultron, you got Quicksilver his and Scarlet Witch. Those, here's the thing: their movies resolve that storyline. Those problems are resolved. We're getting into a whole new set of problems. That's the whole point of the, the intercutting in the movies. Not only do we get a taste of the characters we love, and then another another little hint of the larger universe. Right. They have their own adventure, and it's, those movies are beginning to end. Right, I want to know, I know this is kind of a side thing, but what Scarlet Witch are we getting? Are we getting the over, like, the House of M Scarlet Witch that she changes reality? I, are we getting, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think we're getting, like, that X-Men Evolution Scarlet Witch, where she's an incredible powerhouse on the team. <laughs> okay? Well, like, she, she drops <laughs> out, and she's, well, and, and she's almost <laughs> like... I just, I remember that cartoon, and I just, they just came. Like, I, I didn't see the where guy, yeah. she's like the Hulk in a sense, but like more like magic element based. Uh, but where she's a huge mass of power, but she's not like I warp the universe type. See, I kind of I, I, I know it's kind of I don't know why they're in the movie at all. To be Thank you. I, that that was what I was leading. I'm to. waiting for what? it because at the end of the la whatever what, what, what was uh, X Men um with um no 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 Days of Future Past no no forget Days of Future Past. <laughs> At the end of one of the actual like Marvel Captain Marvel, America 2. Captain America 2? Yeah. Okay. Was it where you saw the head of Hydra? Yeah. Mm hmm And he has them? But that has something to do that's gonna it's gonna really? come up in the next yeah. Captain America. Well, movie. Scarlet okay. Witch and Quicksilver have always been like almost original cast with every original of the Avengers. They always been it was part of the original charter. No. Yeah, because Scarlet Witch falls in love with Vision and it had yeah. Wait, what? They're not not part of the original. They go back. They go back. They go back. You're right. You're not part of their they're original. They're not a part of their right? yeah, brother, but, brotherhood of evil mutants. Like, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but they're um, a whole thing. But I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I'm excited for the movie. Like, hands up, I'm excited for the movie. I don't want to seem like, like I'm not going to. It's just one of those things where even with the Avengers 1, I was like, like how are you going to get all these big powerhouse players to be on screen? But they did it. And I full had full they did, yep. think they, they're going to do it again. They, they keep, yeah, I'm not worried about it. That's right. They're just going to do it again. And they have something planned where we're going to get a taste of them. And they're going to bring them together. It's going to be cohesive. It's going to make sense. And I'm all with it. Um, now with that said, now that we're talking about Scott Witch and Quicksilver, you guys saw Days of Future Past. Right? Yes. Well, Quicksilver stole that movie. He stole the movie. He stole the movie. <laughs> if you notice, it's different actors and it has nothing to do with that. I hate that. Fox has the licensing. I believe it's Fox. Fox, Fox has the licensing for the X-Men and the mutants and everything. Right. In fact, and we keep calling him Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. In the Avengers movie, they can't call him Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Um, if you notice in that scene with the Hydra, Boss Hydra, he doesn't call them mutants, he calls them miracles. They can't use that word. Um, <sighs> this is Black Are we Wolverine. rant about that? Are we going to rant about this? Uh, well, it's just, I think it's interesting. And it's the same thing Fox also owns Fantastic Four, who's coming out with their new movie that's not tied to anything. Well, I thought yeah. well, okay, okay. I know the comic heard, book is getting axed. I right? heard a rumor. The, yes. the, the Fantastic Four comic book is getting, is getting scrapped. Why are they doing a the movie? No, they're doing a the movie to, to the comic book getting axed. Because this has nothing to do with Marvel. Right. Fox owns that. That's Fox's I'm money. I'm sorry. That... Marvel, in a way of saying, hey, Fuck you! Is saying <laughs> is cut, the, cut their stuff. You, right. They they're not allowed to make Days of Future Past toys. Have you noticed that there's no action figures? Okay, time out. Or time out. Like, time out. 
Time so, out. Th this is a problem for me as a fan, as a nerd. I, I gotta rant about this because I understand having different licenses for the movie rights and stuff, but how? Why is it tying into our genre of comics? And like, it's to me that is first, the okay. The characters yeah. still exist, right? Which, first of all, I, I like to go on record. Fantastic Four comics suck. Anyway. I'm just I hate them. Right? I'm pretty We're sure not. there's one kid out there going and dark. They're not <laughs> cutting. They're not cutting X Men. Thing. But it's like if you're an action figure dude, you can't yeah. get action yeah. figures for yeah. Days of Future Past. That's no matter how dope you thought the costumes were, you can't get them. So now here's the thing: back when the X Men movie was first made, Marvel was bombing. Marvel was actually about to go bankrupt. Really? Was it that bad? It was no. that bad. That wasn't Marvel's money either. That was Fox also. Right. Marvel went bankrupt. That's the reason they don't have their licenses now. Right, they sold the the, They sold all that to go, yo, this is the last little bit of money we can get. Let's, let's see what we can do. So Spider-Man uh, went to Sony. Fox got the X-Men and the whole X-Men like that universe. And then as far as everything else, they went other places. But Marvel slowly, one step yeah. at a time. That's bad. Them back. Now they're like, okay, look, Sony, uh, Fox, let's make some money together. We have these things. We're planning. We're about. We're everybody's about to get paid. Everybody's get, about to get paid. How are they and they're the like, comics, no. Though? How how are they still able to do the comics? But they sold the rights. They own the comic, the comic right. They feel they sold film rights. Ah, uh, it's okay. completely different. Highly yeah. weird. Yeah, because I thought if you sell the rights, you do sell them the rights to everything that's just, associated with that. Character. It's just like this: as a, if, if I make music, I'm the artist, and I own the rights to the music. But if you put that music on a video, there's a whole different type of right. Video it has a whole different type of rights to music video. You know, I own the song. It's it's contract. It's really weird. But speaking of really weird, I, okay, it's official confirmed. Hulk is not getting his own movie. No. Black Widow is not getting his own movie. Hawkeye is not getting his own movie. Now the, the last two I'm they're care not, about, they're, they're, they're not. Okay. They're not. It's, it's been. It's been. <laughs> I kind of still want Hulk to get a chance with his movie. That, I was just such a Hulk fan. Now I realize that the first two didn't quite do that well. No, no I no. enjoyed it. Because you couldn't watch a dude turn into a green monster, blow up a town, and still call him a hero every. <laughs> That many times, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what now? The rumor with that, and you see kind of it in the trailer, is that something's happening to the Hulk. The Hulk might not be in the next couple of things because they're gonna shoot him off world. Now, oh, you think they? Oh wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, that, you is think a, they, wait. that is a rumor. No, no, that, now, that would be I, a hot movie. Stop. I can't just watch that rumor though. I can't just watch the rumor because the original rumor was they was gonna shoot him off world, and he might be part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. World, 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 Hulk. No, that's oh, not gonna oh, happen that. because. In Iron Man 4 and other the, the elite of Avengers, the Hulk plays a role in that. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Banner has a role. I think when, uh, I think in the in the long run, when all said and dead, if they continue from here, mm -hmm. I think he might they might Would that be too much to ask for a live action movie with Hulk? Planet Hulk. Mm, kind of both. Boy, you want to yeah, yeah, back? Yeah, I want him to come back. You know, I, if they can play, like, even if they skip that part and just have what they did with Hulk when he comes I, back. What you were talking about was that I thought that they were gonna ship him off. And then he was gonna meet up with the Guardians. Oh yeah, okay. And yeah. then come back with the Guardians in the later movies. Right. That would've been hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would've liked that. But no, I mean, there's so many different licenses. And then those are just the films. Yeah. You gotta remember, their cinematic world also bleeds into Netflix with like four shows. Mm -hmm. Oh, with Luke Cage, um, what Daredevil. Out again? Daredevil, oh. it's filming now. I don't think there's. Any I think no, they just finished wrapped up filming for Daredevil. What so, is their date yet? Um, I, no, I think I think it's fall 2015. Okay, that's not bad. Because I know they they wanted to come out around the same time as Orange New Black and all the other Netflix shows come out. That makes sense. Okay. The, just to wrap it all up, because I mean, I know we talk about a bunch of stuff. We all over the place. Sorry, guys. We just this is how we do We're things. Um, but um. Constantine, let's like kind of finish up with uh, how this, the show right now that just dropped. Um, I'm liking it for what it is. Is it is it amazing? No, uh, I think I think it's one of those. It's not a. It's, it's not. A, not. Okay, here, here's it's the thing. Not. It's, it's like how I feel for like, you to be such a comic fan of the comic book. <laughs> uh, to be this I'm, up off of No, here's the thing. I actually full flare thought it was going to be ten times worse. Oh, is that okay? You made it so yeah. low in here. I, it, to me, it was like yo, for this to even be half as good as it is, you know what? Maybe they can pick up from here yeah. because all these shows, even Flash and Arrow, they start off kind of wonky, but they pick up. 
you know. That's kind of how I felt about Gotham. I was like, uh, I'm not, I'm trying not to expect a lot, but I'm going to go. But Jay Pickett Smith, like, oh my God, if you're Fresh watching movie. this video, <laughs> you are the best actor I've ever seen. Like, right. the Smiths Jada are. Pinkett is dude, dope and everything. Dude. But the dude who plays Penguin? Yeah, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. He's good, but I've never seen. been scared of the Penguin before. Dude, you really, you really feel like he's unstable. Like, he might kill me at any moment. And now they got these know. rumors going out there. Maybe he's not the penguin. Maybe he's secretly the Joker. Oh my god! Get out of that, get dude. Out of that. Wait, god, time out. out time out, though. That would be so no, fucking. No, 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 that would be terrible. <laughs> that, that would what? be terrible. Right. That would be awful. Because but we he, always know Penguin to be this short stubby dude, so we no, no, But it's you, like, you know how when you see, you see the club foot, you see. Yeah, I know, I know. And I know. you know what else is a good shout out to no one? I don't think anyone's really caught is the woman who plays his mom. Mm -hmm. Played his mom in the old Tim Burton movie. Oh, I didn't even catch that. Like in the beginning of the movie, it's Pee Wee Herman and this woman yeah. that plays his parents. I, I that didn't even cool. catch that. Now hold up, <laughs> I gotta say this. I love Gotham. I need. We need to get rid of Catwoman, or cat girl, whatever. Okay, just she, keep uh, walking. Oh, all right, I, I, we supposed to be talking about Constantine, but I do, I do want to say that she is the only blemish, like that. Like, she's like a perfect face with the big ass pimple on the side, like with, you know, like just turn to the to the left a little right, bit, she's like. I know, but dude, it's like every time they show her, she's overacting. She's weird looking. She's she's a dancer singer. Yeah, yeah, but this guy like what? Okay, the last episode, minus was in it. He's like she she brushed off stripping or something. No, it's not even that. It's just like where are you coming from? Yeah, we walk in hot dogs. You come down the car. I know. Like you're breaking into the middle of the daytime. You coming down the car like hey, nobody can see you. Like we see you, little girl. I get it. You're you're catwalk. Exactly. We well, you know what? You know what makes me cringe about it is seeing her as a girl because you know, as far as canon, mm -hmm. what she's about to go through with the prostitution yeah. and all that stuff. It's weird seeing a little girl and then knowing that that changes. But let's see if they, they go there. Let's see, let's see, let's see how it grows. They're, 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 they're not. No, yeah, no, yeah, they're not. I'm, I'm going to say this to just, just to wrap it up. You know, it, Gotham is presenting a whole different view on the way we view the city, the way we view these characters. And even going back to Constantine, um, and you were saying how the show is not as dark as the hell based comic book. Dark. Now, could we actually get that dark on TV? Yes. I, I thought it was kind of dark though. Like for it you to dealt with demons, but it, it's not. With the dark. roaches and, and, and the, he's too, that's, that's he's not, too neurotic. Her grandmother face melted with the black. I dark. was like, you know, like, that's kind of. Okay, here, let me put it like this: that right. crappy. Keanu Reeves version yeah. is PG-13. Yeah. It was pretty, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can push the boundaries and not go over it mm -hmm. and make it a visual hour show. Um, they're but it is the first episode, though. It was the first episode. I, it's cool. Yeah. It's just we, we, we trying to get like like stupid on some crazy cringe in the first episode. I'm no. trying to go on Hellblazer the comic. Okay. Like, I want to I want to okay. see that turn into a thing. You I don't, don't have to show me everything. Show me something I, I don't even like the fact that he's in America. Because in the whole show, he kind of travels all throughout the world, but the way they set up, especially at the end of the pilot, is she's going to go all across America to Louisiana and New York and all these other places to stop, you know, these things that's happening. And I'm looking like... Look, if it makes you feel any better, they're not. They're in Canada because it's cheaper to film there in Canada. It looks like, <laughs> Canada looks like everywhere. That makes you feel... Like, it really doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. I, I like I like Constantine. Mm -hmm. I like I like some of the hints. Cause did you see Doctor Fate's helmet? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. when, that when made she me pulled that ice squeed, dude. <laughs> I was like, you oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was cool. And uh, the rumor is, you know, a long time ago there was a rumor that they were making a Justice League dark television show. They scrapped it and instead made Constantine. Could we see Zatanna? Could we see Dead Man? I do. Just from showing that, they sh they need to. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, is that like for them not to is kind of an insult at this it's point. It's up in the air. Let them finish the storyline. Let's see what's right. going on with this war and all this. Right, exactly. Crap. You know, you don't want to move too fast, but having them potentially in there is like a hell yeah. Like I would like even in Gotham, like I'm anticipating this. Like it maybe it may come up in season two or three, but like like the, uh, someone who could be possibly Joker. As a young kid, uh, doing something. Believe great. it or not, I think we already saw Joker. Really? I think we already saw Joker. It was um, there's a part where Fish Mooney is interviewing uh, a stand-up comedian. The comedian, yeah. And he's just telling corny jokes. Oh my god! I bet there's a cutout scene where she calls him Jack or something like that, or you know, or Mr. Napier or whatever. I th I think that was him. But you know what? I didn't even. It was so subtle that you never figured out. It was so subtle. Oh, Oh, I gotta go back and watch it. I gotta go back and watch it now. Like, yeah, absolutely.
absolutely right because he was just like, yeah, yeah. And he, that was Joker was his thing. He was trying to be a comedian. Yeah, this is before all that. There is no Joker without Batman. Sure. Batman creates him. So don't worry about. It. Don't. Ah, uh, Hinton. I'm surprised we saw a Riddler hint. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm liking the Riddler. Riddler. I'm liking the Riddler. I like. Uh, I was over him until the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, you get to see that he his ner he's neurotic mm -hmm. and he's that socially awkward kind of nerd. Right. But like, why it's gonna why it might switch from him? Why why that? That's what you're looking for. Is where does that hinge of super criminal? Right. From? What makes Penguin so dangerous? Well, he grew up around the criminal. He knows that world. Freaking psychopath. He will kill you. Yeah. I've never felt like that from him, but now I see it. I can see where he he'll he's shrinking and he's got that long nose mm -hmm. and they keep you know he's just gonna own that name of the mm -hmm. penguin. He's sick of getting beat up because he's different. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna he's just gonna kill everyone. Okay. It's one of those kind of things. You're looking for that thing that pushes them over the edge. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, that's all we have to say. Comment down below. Let us know what you think about Age of Ultron, what your hopes and dreams are, what your what your own theories but are. Yeah, we want to know your hopes and dreams. And we didn't really, <laughs> we didn't really talk about this, but uh, <laughs> DC's cinematic universes that they're trying to build up because they're making it up as they go, and they're, this is gonna be it's gonna be watchable, but barely. Or Marvels that you know something it's about to go down. <laughs> like what what did, what are you excited for and why? Oh, oh, once again, this is Mason AJ. This is Lance Excalibur. The goat. Deuces.